So today I'm doing something super cool. So Jordan Peterson, the man, the myth, the legend, is in Florida. He's actually in Tampa. He's talking at the Emily Arena and last minute, literally like two hours ago, I decided to get a ticket because I had some extra credit card points. So I was like, why not? Let's go see him in person. Now I think Jordan is one of the smartest people. Like he's one of those people that when he talks, you're like, dang, he knows what he's talking about. Like he is so smart. So I'm curious to see what I feel about him in person, what he talks about, what it's going to be like. I have no expectations for tonight other than the fact that I've heard that everyone at his talks dresses up extremely fancy and businessy. So I've heard that the guys wear four piece suits and just go all out. So I am wearing a actual dress. I'll show you guys in a second. I am extremely fancy because I want to dress up for as well. This is going to be so fun. I hope anyways, I'm excited to see him. We have his book, so maybe he'll sign it. Who knows? <laughs> and yeah, let's take you on the journey. Now, before we get into his actual talk, if you don't know Jordan Peterson. I don't know what rock you've been living under, but if you don't know him, he is a Canadian clinical psychologist, cultural critic, and a professor of psychology at the University of Toronto. He's gained widespread attention in 2016 for his criticism of the Canadian Bill C-16, which added gender identity and expression to the list of prohibited grounds of discrimination under the Canadian Human Rights Act. Peterson argued that the bill infringed upon freedom of speech and expression. He has also written several books, including 12 Rules for Life, An Antidote to Chaos, and Maps of Meaning the Architecture of Belief. In addition to his critiques and self-help work, Peterson has been involved in debates and discussions on a variety of topics, including religion, psychology, philosophy, and politics. He's been a controversial figure due to his views on certain topics, and he's also been praised for his willingness to engage in dialogue and for his emphasis on on personal responsibility and self-improvement. We are on the way there right now. I'm literally just gonna stop, get gas, pick up my sister who's coming also. It's my sister, my mom, me, and my boyfriend. So we're all going there. We're gonna stop and get gas and then we're gonna go. I'm nervous. <laughs> So I literally just got back. It is 10.56 as you can see. It was a long talk. It was actually like two and a half hours combined with the question time, his speech, and then his wife spoke for like 10 minutes. Thoughts? And I talked with my mom and my boyfriend and my sister all in the car on the ride back. So I've literally exhausted this topic feels like. But I will say the first half of the speech to me was kind of disappointing because the whole reason I wanted to see him is for his clinical perspective on mainstream issues. And he spent the first half almost it felt like it was an advertisement in the first half focused on issues that I didn't necessarily care too much about that weren't really relevant. And I didn't think were such mainstream topics that I wanted to hear a clinical perspective on. Um, the second half it did get better. He did talk about more mainstream things, but I had a lot of thoughts. It was a lot different than I thought. I will say it is super, super impressive. The way that this man talks, his vocabulary is like exquisite. It is insane. I've never heard anybody talk like that. And not only that, but the fact that the speeches are unscripted and he talks so well, like he never stutters. He never stops. Like he can go in a circle, loop around, come back and 30 minutes later, tie it up, which is insane to do just on the spot. Although I will say for me personally, I could not marry somebody like this because you ask him a question like, what are your thoughts on the color blue? And instead of being like, I like it, it's a good color. He'll go on a 15 minute tangent about how he grew up, where he went to school, what he experienced in society, what the color means, and then be like, so that means I like the color blue, you know, which would drive me nuts because a lot of times I am kind of a get to the point person. Like if I ask you, yeah, can you tell me how you got in a car accident? I want to hear, I was going left, someone hit me straight on, they hit me in the front right or something, you know? I don't want to hear, well, actually, when you were going around the roundabout, and have you heard about how roundabouts were made up? And I felt kind of like that with Jordan Peterson. Sometimes I was like, get to the point, answer the question, it's been 30 minutes, you know? But intelligent, intelligent man. I will never take that away from him. I'm super impressed by him. And it seems like he's doing a lot of good work for the world and society as a whole. I thought it was really, really interesting. On top of that, I loved how dressed up everybody was. As you saw in the clips, everyone dresses up so formal, which I think in Florida, it's hard to get people to dress up, but extremely, extremely cool. 
I loved the vibe in there. Everyone was really supportive. I never heard anyone saying anything negative or anything like that. And it was definitely an experience that I would go to once. I don't know if I would go again, to be honest, just because I did find a lot of the topics for me personally weren't things that I am super interested. And that's not to mean that they're not interesting for some people. It's just not what I particularly listen to when I am listening to debates like that. But again, super, super cool. I don't regret going at all. Those are my initial thoughts. If I have any thoughts tomorrow or anything, I just wanted to give my thoughts right now since I did just get back and we did just spend like 30 minutes in the car discussing literally every point that he said and our thoughts on everything. So yep, that's everything. If I don't add anything else, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Goodbye.